Hey guys, in this video, we are going to talk about what are prisms. So the next big thing that we're going to get into is three-dimensional shapes. And one of the most common is the prism. So let's talk about what makes a prism a prism, because not every 3D shape is a prism. So first, prisms are a very specific kind of 3D solid, right? So all of these things that you see here are examples of prisms. Now we're gonna talk about what makes them prisms because they all kind of look different, but they do have a similarity to each other. And once you see this, um, you'll kind of understand what that similarity is. So let's talk about how to build a prism. Because once you know how to build a prism, you kind of understand what a prism is. So first, you're going to take any polygon. Remember, a polygon is a, sh a closed figure with straight sides. So we can take like, let's say a rectangle, we'll take a triangle, and we can take even a trapezoid, right? You really can take any polygon. These are the three we'll use for our examples. Now you wanna make an exact duplicate of each one of those. So I'm gonna take that rectangle, make a copy, and the triangle, make a copy, and the trapezoid, and make a copy. So now I have exact copies of that original polygon. Now we're gonna build a 3D figure with these. We're actually gonna make three separate 3D figures with these things, but because we're gonna build a 3D figure, we have to take these two copies and we have to make them parallel to each other in 3D space. Like parallel to each other in 3D space is kind of weird to think about because we're not talking about lines now, we're talking about whole planes that have to line up together to be parallel to one another. So I'll take my two rectangles and I made them parallel in three-dimensional space. And then I do the same thing with my triangles and I'll do the same thing with my trapezoids. They're all parallel in 3D space. So then we're gonna connect these parallel matching faces. Um, but first, I just want you to know that these special bases or these special faces, the, the triangles, the, the trapezoids, the rectangles, the hexagons, whatever they are, those are called your bases. They are the bases of your prism before you even build the prism. Those two special shapes. So if I connect their corresponding sides, just like that, then that will form rectangles that connect them. So the sides of all of these are actually rectangles. So we had our special triangles that were parallel, but then those triangles are connected with rectangles. Same thing with the trapezoid. I had my special trapezoid shape, but now the trapezoids are connected with rectangle sides. And those sides are called faces. Those are the lateral faces. They're all rectangles. And that's really what makes a prism a prism is that it has rectangular sides or faces that are connecting two polygons that are parallel. Okay, so we here's our three prisms and they're named by those bases. So remember, uh, the it says prisms are named for their base shape because all of the other faces of a prism are always going to be rectangles because that's what makes them prisms in the first place. They're connect, the connected sides are the rectangle faces. So if we highlight the bases that we started with, remember that was our original shapes, the rectangle, triangle, and trapezoid, that's how we name the prism. So we have a rectangular prism, and rectangular prisms are pretty simple. They're all the size of rectangles. We have a triangular prism because we had two triangles and then we connected them with rectangles. And then we have a trapezoidal prism because they had two trapezoids and we connected them with rectangles. So just to give you a few more examples that are in 3D, this is a prism here. You can see that it has a hexagon as the base, there's two hexagon bases, and then the lateral faces are all rectangles. This prism, here I have pentagons. So this is a pentagonal prism, a pentagonal prism that has two pentagon bases and then five lateral rectangle faces. This is an interesting one. What shape is that? That's a parallelogram. There's two parallelogram bases. So this is a parallelogram prism. You can see that the lateral faces are all rectangles. And then I have two parallelograms as the bases of the figure. So the last one I'll do is this one here. I can see a triangle. 
on the top and the bottom. They don't have to be on the top and the bottom. They can be on the sides. But the other faces are rectangles. Those are parallel to each other. So this is a triangular prism. I can even make it a little three-dimensional so you can see that those faces there, the triangles are parallel. The other faces are rectangles, making it a triangular prism. So that's the gist of what makes a prism a prism. Remember, it's two special figures, and then they, you connect those in three-dimensional space with rectangle faces.